Hey, yo, like this video right now or your channel will be terminated. No joke, I'm not even kidding. All right, everyone, welcome back. Now, today I think I've found something pretty interesting. And it's got to do with this girl who apparently is getting her channel with 250,000 subscribers terminated. Now, this right here hits close to home. I mean, I've got a channel with 225,000 subscribers and it's the channel you're watching right now. And I couldn't imagine having my channel terminated. I mean, the Glider Guy channel is something that I hold near and dear to my heart. I couldn't imagine YouTube just possibly terminating it like that. Although, let's be real here, the way you YouTube is going right now. I could literally wake up tomorrow with my channel terminated and just have like three strikes instantly. But anyway, the video we're going to be watching today is called My Parents Deleted My YouTube Channel with 250,000 subscribers because of my spoilt sister. All right, let's have a look at this. Hey, I'll go join my Discord. Go do it right now. We got lots of members. Go, just, just do it. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Tammy. Some of you play Roblox, right? I used to be really into it. I would play every moment I could, even between classes. After getting home from school, I'd quickly do my homework and then play for hours. Okay, there, I, already this video, I've literally heard like 15 sound effects in the first two seconds. I'm guessing this is one of those channels that are literally targeted towards fetuses and people who don't even have a functioning brainstem yet. I mean, whatever makes you money at the end of the day, but like, the, really, Roblox? Like, come on. These stories are so clearly fake. Like, you guys already know this, but like, it's still just like, I, I, I still gotta point this stuff out. Whenever my parents would see me playing, they'd say, that's enough, go do something else for a while. I'd stop playing and watch Roblox videos on YouTube instead. <laughs> As you might have guessed, I was spending a large part of my allowance on Roblox. The Roblox currency is called Robux. I was so hooked on it that even when I was buying something in real life, I would convert the price into Robux. Okay, that is just genuinely sad. If you're that addicted to a game like Roblox, like, honestly, come on. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, oh my god, Glidy Guy, you're literally using Roblox gameplay in this video. What do you mean? You, you, you can't make fun of someone for playing Roblox. Now, honestly, I don't care, right? If you play Roblox, like, good on you. In fact, I, I play Roblox, to be honest with you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using gameplay for it. But at the end of the day, right, if you're that addicted to playing Roblox and, and buying Robux in game to the point where you literally go outside and compare the prices into Robux. I, I, th th there's just something wrong with you. That is the moment where your parents need to say, go outside and find, find a hobby. Just find something to do. Being that obsessed with a game is not healthy in any way. For example, when the ice cream guy would say it's $2.50 for a scoop, I'd go, that's 200 Robux. Oh my God. What, 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 what is this? I, I'm actually so confused. 40 seconds in and we've already got this girl who's addicted to Roblox, uh, but literally probably never does anything but play Roblox and spends every part of their pocket money and allowance on Robux. I wasn't the only Roblox addict in our house. My little sister Ellie was really into it too, but her parents never said anything to her. Sometimes my mom would even sit next to her and watch her play. Once when my mom asked me to get off Roblox, I said, Ellie is playing the whole time too. How come you don't say anything to her? And my mom replied, she's too young. And when I said, Ellie is only three years younger than me, my mom got angry and said, Tammy. Oh, wow. Dun. I actually love these sound effects. Like you, you just got to love every three seconds, just a dun sound effect. It, it, it's absolutely amazing. You know, I should probably start using more of those sound effects in my videos because apparently that, that, that that's just what keeps the kids watching, to be honest with you. So you know what? Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Stop comparing yourself to your sister or I won't let you play at all. It might seem weird to you that our parents treat us differently, but I'm used to it. Ellie is their favorite. For example, last year for her birthday, they gave her 10,000 Robux. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard it. My mom's a housewife and my dad works at an Amazon warehouse. They always complain about money, but when it comes to my sister, they act as if they're loaded. I remember blurting out, that's not fair, you got me a t-shirt for my birthday. Ellie being the brat that she is, couldn't stop herself from <laughs> laughing at me saying, what's the one thing in Roblox you really want but can't afford? I'm gonna buy it. Grr, oh my god, this is so infuriating, guys. Wow. Where's the part where someone's channel gets terminated? I, I don't care about you being addicted to Robux and your sister being, your sister being like a, a brat. There's a huge tree in front of our house. The branches were making shadows on the wall, which looked scary. As if that weren't enough, an owl began hooting and it felt really eerie in there. As I was sitting there, shaking with fear, I had a fantastic idea. I used to think it would be so great to have my own Roblox YouTube channel. But YouTube has thousands of them. Most of them have similar content. There would be no point in having a channel like that. That night, I had a brilliant idea. I could make my channel stand out by making scary Roblox videos. Oh my god, so scary. I, I, what am I actually watching here? Later that night, I found a Halloween makeup tutorial on YouTube and drew a scary skull on my face. Then I turned off the lights and lit a candle. 
Finally, I began playing the scariest Roblox game, Mimic. I actually felt scared, and so the video came out really realistic. I created a new YouTube channel and uploaded the video. That moment, I became a YouTuber. Naturally, I did not get a lot of views at first. Only my friends were watching. But I kept dropping videos on a regular basis. I was putting on different scary makeup every night and playing a scary Roblox game. I wouldn't be surprised if this person's uploading like three times a day, constantly editing and just sitting in their room all day. I mean, I can't really talk. I'm literally a commentary YouTuber who, who makes who makes videos on that vegan teacher and Nikocado Avocado for a living. But at the end of the day, right, like I I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure anyone can agree that, that that is better than putting a mask on and making Roblox videos in your room. Again, nothing against Roblox. It's just like, if you're that obsessed with it, then, 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 then there's something wrong. Since it was always late and I didn't want to wake up my family. I couldn't scream. So I invented something called a silent scream. Whenever I was scared in the game, I would pretend to scream by opening my mouth really wide. People loved this. In the comments, they would count my silent screams. Since my family didn't like my playing Roblox, I couldn't tell them about my channel. I had to keep it a secret. In fact, I wanted to tell them because I was starting to make money from it. I was gradually making more and more. After I hit 200,000 subscribers, I started making as much in one day as my dad made in a month. But I didn't have a bank account because I wasn't old enough. So YouTube was holding on to the money I made. I was going to get it all when I had a bank account. Everything was going great, and then I got caught. The silent scream had become really popular at Ellie's school. Since all her friends were talking about it, Ellie got curious and checked out the channel herself. Even though I was wearing a lot of makeup, she recognized my voice. She got super jealous when she saw how many subscribers I had. She ran home from school and told my mom about it. My parents and I had a big fight that night. My mom said, how can you do something like this without telling us? You will shut down that channel immediately. Okay, right. I, I, don't, I honestly don't understand parents like this. If you're one of those parents who, see, who sees that your kids are doing something that, that probably is out of the ordinary, like making a YouTube channel, for example, because it's still not really socially acceptable to be like a YouTuber within older generations. If you're one of those parents that's like, oh my God, you, sh you should get a normal job. I don't, I don't care how much money this YouTube thing's making you. I like, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like if you're making so much money to the point where you're making more than your parents like I, you, you should you shouldn't have your parents tell you what you should be doing especially if you're getting like what 200k subs and you're, you're you're probably the most popular person in your school you know you're making all this money like there's really no reason to shut it down like what what's the point of that you're just throwing away a massive opportunity for no reason which i replied mom i love doing videos please let me do this i'm making money too my dad said tammy i already have a job we don't need the five bucks you're making on youtube <laughs> which made me laugh because I was making thousands of dollars every month. My dad got really <laughs> upset that I was laughing at him. You are going to your room and deleting that channel now. I don't want to hear another word from you about this. He yelled. I went to my room without saying a word. Imagine these parents like actually existing in the real world because I guarantee that they don't, right? Obviously this is a fake video, but if these were my parents, oh my God, I, I don't even know what I'd do. I like, it's just, it's just the most annoying thing when you, when you work so hard on something and then it just doesn't get appreciated by the people closest to you. Luckily for me, I don't have that sort of thing. Like I've got really supportive people around me who actually like, who, who understand what I'm doing and realize that it's actually like, it's actually worth it. Obviously. This this isn't a real scenario, but if this was, like, I feel so sorry for this girl, like, literally grinding to 250k and then being told to delete your channel by your own parents. Like, that's, that's just mad. I couldn't fall asleep for a long time. It wasn't fair for them to make me delete my channel, and it was ridiculous. I realized what the real reason was. My parents were actually jealous of my success. Specifically, they didn't want me to be more successful than Allie. This thought made me really angry. There was no way I was deleting my channel now. Suddenly, I had an idea. My parents had always wanted to own a house, but couldn't afford to buy one. If I could buy them a house with the money I'd made, they'd realize this was serious. I went ahead with my plan the next day. I knew my grandma had a bank account, so I went to visit her, <laughs> and I told her everything. She hugged me and said, you're such a smart girl. I'm proud of you and agreed to help me. Okay, well, at least there's someone in her life that isn't an absolute jerk. Honestly, I don't really care about all the build up to it. I just want to see where they buy a house or something. I don't know. Got the keys. I still had some money left. I wanted to decorate our new home so we'd be able to move into it with all new furniture. I worked hard on that over the next few days. I turned it into a dream house. Finally, everything was ready. I was so looking forward to showing it to my parents. I had no new videos up on the channel for some time now. After everyone was asleep, I put on some scary makeup and did another video. 
I uploaded the video and got into bed. I was so excited, and I was also curious about my family's reaction. The next day, I went over to the new house. My mom called me three times, but I didn't pick up. I was waiting for my dad to get off work. After I made sure that he was home, I sent the location of the house to him and wrote, Dad, will all of you please come to this address? I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> my dad texted me, Tammy, where are you? Come home now. We have to talk about this YouTube business of yours. I wrote back, Dad, come to this address I just sent you. Let's talk here. My dad didn't respond. These are probably the most ungrateful parents I've ever seen. I mean, I've said I've said it once, but I'll say it again. Imagine working your way up to this sort of thing. Like, I know from experience how, how hard it is to build up a YouTube channel. And especially the fact that this person's literally bought a house for, for her parents. Which, by the way, if you have 250,000 subscribers, I'm just going to say right now, you're definitely not going to be, be making enough money to, like, b to basically buy a house for your parents. So the fact that this person's actually done this is, like, pretty cool. And the fact that they just don't care is a bit mad. When she saw the new video, Ellie must have figured out that I didn't delete my channel and ratted me out to my parents. I didn't think too much of it because I was sure they'd change their minds once they found out I'd bought them a magnificent house. I waited outside. Were they going to come? Thankfully, in half an hour, my mom, my dad, and Ellie arrived. My sister had a smirk on her face. Both my parents looked really furious. My mom asked, Tammy, why did you bring us to this place? I said, Mom, I have a surprise for you. She wasn't listening. Why didn't you delete your YouTube channel? Did you think we wouldn't find out? She yelled without saying a word. I held up the gift box I was holding. My dad said, Tammy, you have disappointed us. Are you going to bribe us with a gift? And I said to him, yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Mom, would you please open it? My mom opened the box. She was surprised <gasps> to see the key inside. What's this key for? She asked. That's for the door to our new house, I said. Then I pointed to the house right behind me. It said on the door, welcome to your new home. All three of them stared at the house. My dad asked, Tammy, how did you buy this house? And I said to him, I bought it with the money I made on YouTube. Dad, I love my channel so much. You can make so much more money on YouTube than you think. From now on, I will give you all the money I make. Please don't ask me to shut down my channel. My parents kept staring at me blankly. My mom said, Oh my God, Tammy, is it possible to make this much money on YouTube? Oh wow, this is this is literally the most Karen thing I've ever seen on the planet. Like imagine telling your kid to delete your channel for like four months or so, and then and then as soon as they buy your house, oh no, it's okay now. Yeah, to be honest, I don't really know what this video was. Uh, it was, it, it, I, I, I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point, please make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 300k by the end of the year and hopefully not get terminated. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.